everyone, welcome to Wager Talk TV. My name is Minty, and joining me today is Brian Leonard at B Leonard Sports on Twitter, and Adam Burke from BangTheBook.com. You can follow him at Skating Tripod. First of all, before I introduce this video, Adam, where did you get this Twitter handle? So Skating Tripods was a beer league hockey team that I played on really? for about a decade. Uh, we were much better at drinking than we were at hockey, yeah. but. The name stuck. I carried it on, so that's how I got it. Wow, legacy. Thank you. Um, all right, guys, in this video, we're going to talk about the season win total for the Cincinnati Reds, which I believe is set at 85 wins. I personally like the Reds this season. I They signed three new bats this offseason. Um, their starting pitchers in rotation are quality pitchers in terms of ERA, runs allowed per game, and strikeouts. I like them to win the, the NL Central. Adam, what do you think? I like them to win the NL Central, too. I think, to me, it comes down to either the Cubs or the Reds in that division. Right. But you look at the Reds from last season, one of the biggest underachievers in baseball. They were 75-87, and 87, mm -hmm. but their run differential was only minus 10. So they played a lot more like a 500 team when you talk about run differential. And their alternate, their alternate standings metrics for base runs and third order win percentage were even higher. They were more like a team in the 84 to 86 range. Mm -hmm. And then as you said, they added on this offseason. They add Mike Moustakis. They add Shogo Akiyama. They add Nick Castellanos. Uh -huh. They add Wade Miley, who I think is a very good pitcher that's going to help that rotation. So this is a team that's got a pretty high ceiling, a lot of upside already built in coming off of last year. And you know, I think that the Brewers are weaker. I think the Cardinals are weaker. Absolutely. Create some value on the Reds. Yeah, I like it. Uh, Brian, do you agree? Yeah, I do agree. And uh, another thing, I reason, well, one of the reasons I like uh, Cincinnati is because they got Trevor Bauer, mm -hmm. and he did not play well for them last year after the Indians traded him. I think it was a shock for him because he has one of those personalities that it's kind of hard to get, uh, get close to, and he'd gotten close to a lot of the players on the team, and then he gets traded. Now he's already upset, but he's, he was on a team that he thought he was going to the playoffs, and now he's going to a, an also ran at that point for Cincinnati. He just didn't have that ability last year to, to turn it on again, as you would expect. I think now that he's there, and he's even talked about it, that he's comfortable with these guys, mm -hmm. and I expect another good season out of, uh, out of Trevor Bauer. But, you know, you talked about being uh, an underachiever last year. I thought I, that was my big play in the offseason. I thought Cincinnati – was going to win that division. Yeah. And it just didn't work out. They got off to a terrible start at the beginning. Yep. But you were right. I believe at the All-Star break, or going into the last couple of weeks of the season, they actually had more runs scored than they did uh, given up. So it used to be Joey Votto was the team. Mm -hmm. Now Joey Votto is an afterthought on that team because they've got so many good players. They do. And it was, at the time, Joey Votto was talked about is he needed to produce more runs, but that's not what he does. He gets on base, he plays some good defense, he's a team leader. Now with the people that they brought in, he, he's more able to do what he normally does, and he won't be counted on to be you know, the big home run guy. Right. I really like Cincinnati, and I'm not as high on the Cubs. I think Cincinnati wins this division. I think so too. So we all like the over here. We do, and the Bauer thing is really interesting too because you, know, you and I are both Indians fans. It wasn't just Bauer's performance on the field. You know, he helped guys develop their curveballs, develop their sliders, things of that sort. Now he carries that over to the Reds. The Reds picked up Milwaukee's pitching coach going into the 2019 mm -hmm. season, and their pitching numbers skyrocketed. They were a bottom third pitching staff before Derek Johnson got there. They were a top 10 pitching staff last season. Now you add Miley, you add a full season of Bauer, and another full season under the same pitching coach. Uh, the Reds have one of the highest ceilings, I think, in the National League. I think they could be very, very good and go well over that 85 number. Love it. Thank you, guys. MLB Super Early Bird save $350 off the entire MLB season. That makes the price $745 through the World Series or less than $125 a month. Use code MLBSEB2020. This offer is valid through Sunday, March 7th at wagertalk.com and sportsmemo.com.